In the 2023 golf season, I've been fitted for some of the world's best irons, notably the Mizuno JPX 923 Tours and the PXG 0317 Combo Irons. Guys, I'm gonna to get to that a little bit later on in this video, but today we're gonna to put these irons head to head, both of them fitted in my specs, but two different specs. We're gonna see what the best irons are for me. Have I been fitted for the perfect irons? Have I been fitted for the worst irons? And just exactly which one should make the way into my bag. Forward. Guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more golf related videos. Today we're out here on the beautiful golf course and we are in the simulator on the Golfs on Two Vision system. To test these clubs for numbers and see exactly which ones I should be using. So we're gonna kick things off with the four irons here. And the big thing that I love about this JPX four iron is just take a look at this top line. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Very, very ping-esque, you could say. And I love that white groove at the bottom as well. That just helps me really feel like I'm gonna be able to align this club really nicely. So I've got these actually in a, an Elevate Tor Extra Stiff True Temper shaft. And I really like the weight of this. It's a tiny bit heavier than what I've been used to, but I feel like this can actually help me get the perfect rhythm in my golf game. So we're gonna tee off here down the par four, hit some four irons down, and see just what trajectories we can get, what ball flights we can get, and just how these irons potentially feel. That for me is a perfect flight window for a four iron. It's nice and high. I really like how that's come out. Not too much movement on it, but I also know that I can work these down should I want to. If I want to play a really nice low four iron here with this PXG 0317 CB long iron, all I have to do, I have to move the ball position back ever so slightly. I'm gonna stand a little bit narrower. I'm still gonna work on hitting down on the ball, but just take out a little bit of the speed. You can see that's the exact same line, but two totally different ball flights. I think they're gonna be banged next to each other. The big thing that I look for when testing irons is can I hit a high shot and a low shot and it still go around the same distance in the elements. Let's now test the Mizuno JPX 923 Tor irons. These actually look fairly similar. I have been using these a little bit longer, so they're a tiny bit older, you could say now, but looking down at these top lines, it's certainly a slightly thinner top line. The Mizuno is the club on your right hand side there. The PXG is on your left. Very similar offset, very similar designs, pretty much identical lofts. And in the Mizuno, I do have the, oh, I didn't know I had that actually. And in the Mizuno, I have the NS Pro Modus 120. Again, extra stiff shaft. So very similar specs, but just slightly different weights. So let's go standard four iron here. This does feel a little bit lighter. So pros to that is it will feel a little bit easier throughout the round on the 15th, 16th, 17th hole. Right, nice standard four iron. Can't wait to get in the Golf Sun studio and test these for numbers as well. So again, lovely high ball flight, pretty much exactly the same as the PXG. Might struggle to split these guys today. Let's see just how workable the Mizuno is now. Some lovely divot patterns here as well, which is what I do look for when testing irons and when thinking about which irons to put in the bag, can I get nice turf interaction? Do they feel nice? Do they sound nice? Right, little chaser down there. And hopefully these balls are all together. A Little bit pulley that one, but again, lovely nice low shot window. Let's see where they are. So guys, as you can see, four very, very consistent tee shots here. We've got three shots just here. I think these two, I believe, are the high shots and then we've got the low PXG here and the low as you know just in the left hand rough unfortunately but very very consistent numbers which is what I am hopefully looking for here guys when testing golf was like this it's really important to check for numbers to check for ball flights to check for feel the sound for everything else but the big thing I want to test for is forgiveness and also consistency let's get the mid irons out let's see just how they compare and let's check some numbers on the golf song simulator The consistency levels here are absolutely frightening, by the way, with this Mizuno. Okay, PXG numbers now, again, fitted, but very different specs. Straight away, a totally different feel, but I'm thinking it's gonna be a very similar outcome. Definitely feeling a difference in the weight of the PXG. Feel a little bit heavier. I feel like as long as I load it properly, that can work to my advantage. 
like that, I've absolutely ripped that eight iron. So guys, when it comes to mid irons in the six irons, I do have 0317CB still in the PXG. And of course the Mizuno, I don't actually have split set. I could have gone split set in the Mizuno. I could have gone forged in the top end, but I haven't done that. I went JPX taut right throughout. So for me, I really, really enjoy the look of these. I might have been tempted to go into the black finish, but I just love how these sit down at the ball. They look gorgeous. Very similar to the old Ping Answer irons, which I really enjoyed. Also the grips on these PXGs, they're probably the best grip in golf. They are pretty much second to none. 190 yards out here. Can I just hit a nice mid-flighted six iron? That felt absolutely gorgeous. Lovely turf interaction, just fading to the right-hand side of the green there. Now, can I play it down again? For me, having this versatility is a massive factor when choosing which golf clubs I can play. If I can't play a golf club down when I'm playing in windy conditions, then it's not really any good to me. Can I play that same shot? Just move it back in the stance a bit. It should be able to do so. A Little bit thin, but again, just fading towards the right hand side of the green there, not too bad at all. The thing that I like about these is you get that element of forgiveness because they've got that bit of perimeter weight in and that big weight behind the sweet spot, but they're not too weighty. They're not too clumbersome, you could say. Now, clumbersome certainly isn't a word you would use to describe Mizuno JPX irons, especially these JPX tours. Looking down at this, it's amazing to think that this is quite a thinner top line, quite a thinner blade length and very, very minimal offset, actually. I do like how the look of these has weathered over time. Again, very similar golf swing. What I like about these shots is they're starting on target, just fading a little bit. That's the perfect ball flight. Again, both these clubs are giving me a nice flight window. I quite like the windows I'm getting with them, and that's a huge tick point, both with the four iron that you saw and now the six irons. Can I play this one down as well? Ball back, handle forward. Interesting, that one's gone a little bit higher than the PXG did. Again, it's a nice fade, starting on target, fading to the right hand side of the green. We faded the right hand side of the green of all four shots there. Now, the eight iron is quite an interesting one because I actually changed these irons middle of the pack at seven iron, and this is going to interest you. Don't go anywhere. Time for the Mizuno JPX long irons. Right, as you can see, a couple of greens hit there with both the PXG and Mizuno 5 iron. It comes to the lower end of the bag. This could actually be the more important end of the bag when you've been fitted for clubs. So you'll see that I've got two pitching wedges and two eight irons here. I've actually gone for a well, exactly the same JPX 923 tour in the eight iron and pitching wedge in the Mizuno set. But in the PXG set, I've now moved into the 0317 ST forged iron. That is a bladed iron. And to be honest, how good does that look? It looks absolutely stunning. I've gone for that in the seven, in the eight, in the nine and in the pitching wedge. The reason why I've gone for in the pitching wedge is I do like the idea of having a little 100 yard shot with a pitching wedge. And for me, that bladed iron just gets through the turf really nicely. I actually filmed a couple of get good at golf videos today and you can see I left a little bit of ball residue on there. Really, really nice, really nice and forgiving, really nice feel. Now, par three, 145 yards into a little bit of wind and we've got the PXG 8 iron to start with. Chris, come and show them this top line on this 8 iron. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And I think it could be one of the better looking irons that you will ever see right. I'm gonna aim it over the bunker, nice little natural draw in, and hopefully that will be the outcome. Ever so slightly left, but that's gonna be flag high because I struck it nicely, as you can see there. And the big thing that I do want from these irons is that turf interaction, especially when we start talking lower end of the bag, to have this element of turf interaction through the ball really, really, really gives me confidence that I can play nice and consistent shots. I'm gonna hit another one here just because I really enjoyed it. Again, to the right hand side, just drawing in 
ever so slightly. Now if we go Mizuno, and to be honest guys, have I been fitted for the wrong clubs? Absolutely not. But it's amazing how being fitted for two totally different types of irons. I think with a PXG, I do just get a better element of workability, but the Mizuno definitely feel better. And I think I get a more consistent ball flight as well. I don't think I'm maybe good enough a player to be able to pick the ball flight that I want. Another one just to the left of the flag there. And again, I can't complain with that turf interaction. The turf interaction has been gorgeous throughout all these mid to short irons. Right, last shot. Can we get an ace? Exactly the same outcome of all of those shots. Took a couple out to the right hand side of the green and two just flag high left. Guys, let's jump back in the studio. Let's see just how the numbers do stack up with these two sets of fitted irons. Then let's come to a little bit of a conclusion on which one should be in my golf bag. So guys, you saw throughout this video, I was in fact testing the PXG and Mizuno 8 iron and 5 iron. Very, very similar numbers, as you can see. A couple of yards in it total will go straight to the distance. But ball speed is very, very similar as well, like 1 mile an hour, 1 point something mile an hour in it. The spin rates were quite interesting. The PXGs did spin a little bit more than the Mizunos, which I wasn't quite expecting actually. So a little bit more control on them potentially, but also a little bit more distance because I was generating just that tiny bit more ball speed. That can obviously be down to how I've hit those irons. It can be down to the strike. It can be down to my consistency of golf swing. But I do feel like I was swinging pretty much as consistently as I can. Guys, get in the comments below which irons would you use based on these, based on what you saw on the golf course, and let me know what I should have in my bag moving forward for 2023. Smash that subscribe button. I can't wait to see you all at the same time tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye.